And anytime these pastors want to justify their sin, like right now we got a we got a famous pastor that's embroiled in a bunch of drama right now. Right. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Oh, stuff he ain't got no business doing. Being around people he ain't got no business being around, right? It's legal, right? Who said that that's okay? Did God say that or man say that? Man said it. Now these are the people supposed to be teaching us righteousness and how to get the kingdom, right? But they somewhere doing all kind of matter of lasciviousness, lewdness, right? Right? Can't can't uh, deal with their own sexual desire. Hey, hey, I'm gonna read it. We gonna read it for him. Hey, hey. We gonna read it. Keep listening, y'all. The book of First John. Chapter 5 and verse 3. I want y'all to pay attention to what's repentance and what's not. Read. For this is the love of God. So we read what the love of God is. That we keep his commandments. That's why I said many of our people are going to be subject to death. That's right. Because they don't want to They don't want to repent. When the word comes out, what do they do? They run from the word. They cast the word behind their back. Give me, hold that. Give me Nehemiah 926. We're going to come right back. So what we're showing, and I just stepped up because I saw my brothers dealing. Anytime I could spot a pastor a mile away. Bring it out. And anytime these pastors want to justify their sin, like right now, we got a we got a famous pastor that's embroiled in a bunch of drama right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What the been doing? Stuff he ain't got no business doing. Being around people he ain't got no business being around, right? Read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 26. Now these are the people supposed to be teaching us righteousness and how to get the kingdom, right? But they somewhere doing all kind of matter of lasciviousness, lewdness, right? Right? Can't can't uh, deal with their own sexual desire, right? Read. Nevertheless, uh -huh. they were disobedient. They were what? Disobedient. Read. And rebelled against thee. Uh -huh. And cast thy law. And did what? And cast thy law. So when the prophets is up here bringing forth the law to show our people who you are, You're why right. we ended up in these conditions, why did this happen to us? We can answer it. Why did this happen to us? I'm asking. For it. Okay. Why did this happen to us? Disobedient to God? Why didn't it happen to anybody else? Because we do what? Do you agree, sister? So then, wait a minute. If this happened to us for disobedience, what do you see still happening to us today? Give me some examples. Okay. Jail, what else? Give me some examples of stuff we know. I'm going to give you an example. George Floyd! Get out, get I'm going to give you an example. Now you give me an example. Okay. That's, that's broad. Okay. Give me an example, sister. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to give y'all some. They got a show called um, First 48. Y'all familiar with First 48? What is First 48 about? Murders of who? And who's doing the killing? Huh? Okay, who else is killing each other? We killing each other, right? Right. The same thing that got this, that brought this about, we still doing today. So what's that telling you? As a people, we have not yet what? Repented. Right. We have not yet repented. That's why we're teaching you God's laws and how to repent. Read that again. Sir. Book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 26. Watch this. Nevertheless, they were disobedient. So we as a people are disobedient. We're teaching our people today is the Sabbath day. You are not supposed to be buying and selling. Right. But you know what? You are lust for your belly, your desire to serve Christmas got you in that store today. Read. And rebelled against thee. So our people have rebelled against our God. You know why? Because we were taught this. We were taught this devil. And this devil said, come as you are. 
this devil said that that uh that he'll forgive you. Well, give me some more of them wicked sayings that, that Esau give us. Come as you are. Come as you are. Stay as you be. He hates his sin. Everybody can be saved. God loves everybody. We've heard all of this before, right? But that's not in the Bible. Because what he doesn't require, he does require. This is what our God looks like. Bring it out. And our God requires obedience. That's right. Our God requires obedience. That's right. Obedience or death. That's what he does say. Now, watch this. Go back. Read it, it again. 926. The book watch of this. Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 26. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now with the list. They were disobedient. Yeah. So we were disobedient. And rebelled against thee. Uh-huh. And now, now this is this is proof of us rebelling. You see, we bring out a scripture. Y'all standing here listening. Many of our people. Get back in, I'm rolling up the window. I don't want to hear the word. Right, because you know what, if I hear it, now I'm going to be responsible for what I know. Right. Read on. And cast thy law behind their back. So we're bringing out law. Like the law, like how we're supposed to be dressed. The law of the Seventh right day. Teach. We're bringing the laws out. Dietary laws. How you doing, my sister? Read on. And slew thy prophets. And did what? And slew thy prophets. Right. So we would kill the prophets. And many of our people are trying to kill the prophets today. Bring it out. They bring yes, out hate speech against them. Yeah. Right. All right. So now I want to get back to repentance. I'm bringing you back up. I want to get back to repentance. Give me Ezekiel 18. Now I will show you repentance because I made a statement. Repent or die. Right. Repent or God is going to kill you. Right. So let's read it. Let's see if I'm making something up or let's see if it's in the Bible. Go ahead. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 31. Bring it up. Cast away from you all your transgressions, uh -huh. whereby you have transgressed. And start, start, start at 30. Start at 30. Listen to this. Verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. So now, the Lord is saying he'll judge us. You know how people say, only God can judge me. Right. You ever heard anybody say that? Only God can judge me? You know, because y'all got that from Tupac. Read Only God can judge me, right? right? Read it. Therefore, I will judge you. God is saying you damn right I'll judge you. That's Go ahead. Right. Oh, house of Israel. And he's talking to the house of Israel. The house of Israel is us. Right. We are the house of Israel. Y'all understand? We see when we look on this, when we look on this sign, we see our biblical names that have been taken from us. Right. Okay, we've been stripped of our identity, our heritage. Right now, we see how we've been renamed and reclassified to be Negroes. Read it again. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. So God will judge us. Understand that. Read. Everyone. Everyone. Go according ahead. to his ways. According to what? According to his ways. That's why it's so important for you to repent. Read. Saith the Lord God. Uh-huh. Repent. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So now he's going to explain how we repent. Because we ask our people, how do you repent? We don't know. We've been disconnected. We've been turned into Negroes. Right. Not Israelites. We right. have forgotten who we are. Read it again. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. Uh -huh. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. You know how iniquity is going to ruin you? Die. The right. wages of sin is what? What's the wages of sin? Y'all know? Death. Right. The wages of sin is death. Read on. Cast away from you all your transgressions, uh -huh. whereby you have transgressed, uh -huh. and make you a new heart. Make you what? A new heart. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You know what the heart is? You know what the heart is, Corey? You know what the heart is, sis? What is the heart? Okay, we're gonna read it. Cause he said, cast away all your transgressions and make a new heart, right? So we're going to explain it. All right, we're going to explain it for you. Read that. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. Read it all. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. So what's the heart? 
Out of the heart of men come evil thoughts. Thoughts come from the heart, according to the Bible. What's the heart? Read it again. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Where do your thoughts come from? The mind. The mind. Where do your thoughts come from? The mind. Read it again. Okay, no, no, read it 21. For read from off. within, out of the heart of men, Proceed, evil thoughts. So let's see what evil thoughts we have in our minds. Read. Adultery. Right. Adultery is on the mind. The opposite was just asking you about a woman. You see the backside? You see, you know, wait a minute. Sisters, why y'all do this? When y'all look in the mirror, and, you know, you might even Jesus. bounce a little bit, right? Right, what's that? You're looking at the money maker, ain't you? We know what it is. We didn't, we didn't been in that life. We know what it is. Corey, am I lying? I ain't lying. Read, right. out. Read on. Proceed evil thoughts. Uh huh. Evil Ad thoughts. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Right. Murders. Murders. Right. Thefts. Thefts. Covetousness. Covetousness. You know what covetousness is? Read out. When you want something that belongs to somebody else. So even even adultery is when you covet somebody else's wife. You understand? You covet somebody else's husband. You understand? Read. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, uh -huh. deceit. You know what part of wickedness is? Breaking God's Sabbath day, right. going and buying and selling on God's Sabbath day. He said that's in the mind of wicked Israelites. Yes, right. Right. Celebrate Christmas. That's in the mind of wicked Israelites. That's right. Read. Lasciviousness. Come on up, my brother. Go ahead. Lasciviousness uh -huh. and evil eyes. Uh -huh. Blasphemy. Pride. That's lies. Blasphemy is lies. Pride. Pride. Are black people prideful? Yeah, we prideful. Right. We can be broke as hell and be talking about, no, no, no. That ain't how you break down the Bible. Let me show you. Bring it up. Last right. time you even read the Bible. Right. Uh, uh, last year sometime. But I can teach you something. <laughs> we prideful as hell. Teach. Read it again. Pride. Foolishness. Foolishness. Uh, that's, that's what's in our mind. Read. All these evil things. All these evil things. Come from within. Uh-huh. And defile. And the what? Defile. Uh-huh. The man. So now, let's go back to uh, Ezekiel 18. Make you a new heart. Make you a new heart. So we're showing you how to repent. You understand? Yes, sir. This is how you repent. Read. Omar. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Cast away from you all your transgressions, uh -huh. whereby ye have transgressed, uh -huh. and make you a new heart. So remember all those things we just read? Adultery, fornication, pride, lasciviousness, and evil eye, all that stuff? We're supposed to put that away. We're supposed to put that away. Make you a new heart. You got to learn how to keep the commandments. You got to learn how to love your brother. Right, right. Learn how to love your sister. Right. That's why we out here teaching the way we teaching. Because we never learned this in the church. Right. And you got plenty of Christians going in there breaking God's Sabbath day. That's right. And if they don't repent, they're going to die. That's Read. right. And make you a new heart uh -huh. and a new spirit. Uh -huh. For why will you die? Listen to what God is saying. Read it again. Make you a new heart and a new spirit. Uh -huh. For why will you die? God is saying, why are you going to die? Right. Why are you going to die? Read. Oh, house of Israel. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Remember, he's still talking to the same people. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Read. right. For I have no pleasure. What did God say? I have no pleasure uh -huh. in the death of him that dieth. You know why? Because he will kill you. Right. He will kill you. But he's saying, I ain't going to take no pleasure in it. Give me Luke chapter 13, verse 3. I'm going to bring you back up, Officer Lahat. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. I just want to get the point across. We was talking about repentance, yes. right? And, and, and if we don't repent, God will kill us. Read. The book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. Bring it up. I tell you, nay. But except ye repent. That's what we going over. Repentance. Go ahead. Ye shall all likewise perish. So we read it in the Old Testament. We read it in the New Testament. Last scripture for me. Give me that again in uh, um, Mark 12, 31. I know they read it earlier, but I want you to understand this. Because you got to cast away like the officer was reading. You got to put those things that you did in the past away. Don't revisit them. You understand? Because we all done did wickedness. Right. You understand? Every last one of us did right. wickedness. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 12, 
at verse 31. Bring it out. Wherefore, I say unto you, uh -huh. all matter of sin and blasphemy. All those things we read about that come out of the mind. Go ahead. Shall be forgiven. Shall be what? Forgiven uh -huh. unto men. Uh -huh. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto so, men. So once you learn and start keeping these commandments, if you go back into the world, it's cursed. You finish. You know what? Matter of fact, one last one. First Timothy three. I mean, I'm not, Titus three. Titus three and three. I just want to show you. We not. We teaching this from experience. All right. We teaching this from experience. Three days. The book of Titus. Come on back. Chapter up. three and verse three. Uh -huh. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You see that? We did the same things. Go ahead. Disobedient. We were disobedient. Go ahead. Deceived. Uh huh. So we, we were deceived into believing. Christmas is Jesus Christ's birthday. Bring it out. We were deceived into believing that. We were believe we were deceived into believing Sunday was the Sabbath day. Right. Read. Deceived. Uh-huh. Serving diverse lusts uh -huh. and pleasures. You know what come along with Christmas? Don't hoard them come along with Christmas. Bring it out. Huh? Hoard them come along with Christmas. Yeah. Let me go on and give let me go on give her a little, little little gift. You know, little kids of her a little gift. Go on over here so I can get some. Huh? You, you what, men don't think like that? Bring it up. They do. Women don't give it up. Women don't give it up, sis. Yeah, you you, you know we ain't lying to you. You know it. But sis, this ain't what black people do. So, wait a minute, what the Bible described it? All the actions of who? Us. All the actions of us we reading about, ain't we? Okay, read on. Serving diverse lust uh -huh. and pleasure. Uh -huh. Living in malice mm -hmm. and envy. Hateful and hating one another. You ever heard the term haters? Y'all some haters, right? What who who God talking about? Bring it up. Black people. Right. Y'all some haters. He, we read it in the Bible. Right. Why you ain't never read that? Guess what? We read it in the New Testament. Why your why your pastors ain't never read that too? Maybe if we had a little understanding, we treat each other better. <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And fire!